Leo, this will be your channel. The messages for my Leo placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and another node. Leo, if the messages don't resonate, it is not your message, okay? Leo, um, fuck, I just heard something and I lost it. Oh, graph. There's something about graph. Graph paper. I don't know if you're a, you're an architect, okay? There's something about a graph. This could be a statistic or a um. A study being done okay there's something about a sleep study okay there is something about a sense of being in your bed that when you lay down or when you turn or when you move the sense of picks it up to know if you're in bed if you're not in bed um, I remember a long time ago I saw this thing that says NASA NASA will pay you I don't know, seventy thousand dollar how much money if you can stay in bed for 30 days okay I don't know what the conditions or the terms for this is, but there's something about you being on a bed or a weight. There's something about a sensor on a bed. You're supposed to stay in that bed while the sensor picks it up. I don't know if you're getting paid to sleep or you're getting paid to stay in bed. Or I don't know if never, nobody never tell you this, okay? But there's something about a sensory, something sensory is supposed to pick you. The way it is picked up by a sensory something, okay? So yeah, um, let's go into your letters, numbers, symbols. We got a C, okay? We got a six. We got a butterfly. Oh, okay. So transformations or coming out of the cocoon. Okay, you're probably hiding away for a long time. Time to get up. We have a K. Okay. We got an M. Got a G. All right, one more. We got a J. All right, so we got a C, a K, a M, a G, and a J. With the numerology of six, okay? So wait, one, two, three, four, five. Let's pull one more. You like pull? We have a pin. Somebody saving your videos, saving your posts. Okay, Leo. Let's say Leo, right? Leo. This is your reading. Door. Okay. So, Leo, there is a specific door that you're supposed to go through or pass through. Okay. Um, if this is dream and dream interpretation, you may need to take a certain door or you took the wrong door, okay? There's something about either a dimension that you are in and you fell out of the dimension because you took the wrong door or there's going to be a door upcoming that you need to take, right? Somebody's opening up a portal for you. I feel like there's an invisible door being opened up for you by somebody. I don't know if this person needs you to step through the door, but they can't tell you. Alright, let me see. If you have Scorpio coming out, okay, so you'll be linked to a Scorpio. A Scorpio may be visiting you, okay? The sun card wanted to fall out. Oh, who is this? Capricorn. Oh. All right, so we have door, we have Scorpio, Capricorn. This could be your placements, or this could be two different people. Okay. No, us. This I think this Capricorn could have closed. The Capricorn could have made a Scorpio close the door on you, or maybe it's making the Scorpio open the door. We have damage. No, the Capricorn damaged whatever this was. I feel like something was supposed to start with a Scorpio. The Capricorn may have ruined it. Yeah, enemy. 
See, look at this. Just look at it. The door of the scar plays in purple. Capricorn enemy in blue. And blue and purple are my twin flame colors, okay? So is it the Capricorn was jealous so they told the Scorpio a bunch of lies on you, okay? The Capricorn is the enemy or him was trying to she or him was trying to say that you were their enemy. But obviously this person made a door close on you or they made the Scorpio close the door. Yeah, fuck it. We have abusive, yeah. Now, somebody could have thought that you were abusive, which is why move on, yeah. Which is why them okay. So, either the Capricorn is an abusive person or their abuser because people who abuse substances um, usually abuse people. And when we talk about abuse substances, what do we mean? We don't necessarily mean if you have, let me tell you, I'm not tell you something, I'm not promote anything. I'm telling you what I'm seeing in real life. Okay? A lot of business people, people who drive, when Friday night come, them go rent one place, our hotel, with them other very, very wealthy co-workers, and then buy like, I don't fucking know, like 10, 28 gram, wait, 28 gram too much, no, 7, not 7, about 10 gram of cocaine, okay? And the whole of them sniff and party the whole night, and then I'm back to work, running their business on Monday, okay? When you abuse drugs, it becomes a dependency. It, it becomes on your psychiatric level, can operate unless the drug is not in your system, okay? Cigarettes is a drug, have you ever seen? That's why you have so much blood clot people, they must sell the whole patches and the nicotine strips and blah, 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 but they want to pass it off like cigarettes is not blood clot drugs. If it wasn't a drug, you wouldn't need that type of aid to come off of it, okay? Cigarette, when you smoke cigarette and you stop smoke cigarette, what is the withdrawal symptoms? It's terrible. It's fucking terrible, okay? But that is a drug. If you're abusing it, what do you think will happen? Weed. Weed is another drug, okay? Marijuana, we call it. Some people, weed, marijuana, cannabis, ganja, no matter. Um, if it's abused, it can have severe um, repercussions. It can cause, it can, it can not cause, it can, it, it cause, in a cause, it, it, it can lead to, and it can, it can spark psychosis in people's brain. You understand? When you get weed, when you try weed for the first, first of all, I wouldn't tell anybody to just try edibles for the first time, because edibles are far superior than just smoking it, all right? No. Weed is just like, weed we dispensary is like a pharmacy dispensary it comes in milligrams okay it starts from one two milligram goes straight up to 75 milligram okay so if you're abusing marijuana we cannabis every day and you know use it right then it will trip and it will cause psychosis all right schizophrenia symptoms symptoms of paranoia symptoms of withdrawal you know um yeah, so much as I say, this person could be abusing things, alcohol, somebody probably pop pills a lot, pharmaceutical pills, or molly, okay? Somebody may have fucked up a relationship or fucked up a door that was supposed to be open for you because that they were, they were an abusive person or because they couldn't move on or they didn't want you to move on. But why would a Scorpio believe? Well, no. Scorpio and Capricorn. Capricorn will come next to Scorpio. The Scorpio rule the secret, but the Capricorn can make it look like what them thing is, is right. Because the Capricorn rule 3D. The Capricorn is the world, okay? I love to see you smile. And chakras, yeah. Your chakras has been open or somebody else has. I feel like somebody sees something from your point now, okay? I want to give you the life you wanted. Lies. Yes, somebody told a bunch of lies on you. We have the lover's card, Gemini energy. Also, you were supposed to be with the Scorpio, okay? We have cuddles. Yeah. I don't even get anything. I feel like somebody really, I don't know. Somebody could 
really, really, really not be into sex. Not into sex. Not saying that them don't like it. Not saying that them don't like it, but I think this Scorpio or this person very, very much loves sex, but it have to be with a certain person. I don't know. I don't, the sex card never come up, but with the lover's card, the lover's card talks about every. To me, when we just the lover's card, it, it, it gives me a feeling that every time you have sex and you and this person climax, it's like you, your third eye open. That's the type of connection we're talking about now. We're talking about intimacy and romance, not no hard. Yeah, no, not that. No, not, that's for porn, not that. Somebody really... You know those people who sit down and take a moment of silence to look in your eyes? The soul gaze? When you and your porn are just sitting and looking in each other's eyes, okay? I feel like somebody wants to give you that, somebody wants to start that, but I feel like somebody fucked, a Capricorn fucked it up for you. Here, someone's extremely cheap. I don't know what that have to do with anything, but someone's so cheap, so cheap. We have relationship, yeah. Lover's card, you're going to have a relationship with this person. I am insecure about losing you and evil. So if you date the Capricorn and the Scorpio, then I feel like the Capricorn is trying to make it out as an evil person. Somebody could be saying that, I don't know. You're going to cast a spell over them. You're going to curse them. You're an evil person. I mean, you should see them in the night when nobody else is looking. They're, they peel off their mask, you know? But I feel like it's because the Capricorn wanted to be in a relationship with you. Because the Capricorn, you were supposed to... Wait, where is it? There is a relationship and there is a lover's card here, okay? We have temperance, the angel again. Sagittarius energy again, okay? Something is bringing you two together. We have fetish. Either the Capricorn have the fetish. Scorpio could have the fetish also. I mean, to be very honest, with the door, somebody could like to role play or somebody likes for you to wear a wig. We have cheating, yeah. Maybe that's someone's fetish. We have sound, we have alcohol. Don't drink the liquor steady I'm in love with your eyes yeah somebody could also yeah they might have a fetish of cheating or them say you have a fetish of cheating this can also be somebody who you're in a relationship with and they have a fetish of cheating so they like to role play a lot you know they like for you to put on wigs and come through the door as a new person to keep the relationship spicy I don't know We have cover. So somebody could be more into something else, actually. And we have bait. Okay? Somebody taking this fetish bait or whatever bait. We have the high priestess here. Um, nothing gets past the high priestess. She controls the sun and the moon. Okay? Um, I'm going to leave it here, Leo. I feel like somebody took a somebody took the bait. Hopefully it wasn't a Scorpio, okay, but I guess somebody took the bait of you being, I don't know, a cheating, fetish loving, undercover lesbian, evil person, when really you're just a temperance. Okay, I'm going to leave it here, Leo. Until next time, meta.